guys welcome to the third part of the session on how to access emails through automation anywhere so if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos so let's get started in the previous two sessions we have created the task this is the task to access emails where the command is to read and read messages from this server with the username and the ssl type and the server type all are mentioned and now we were giving some of the conditions if email received date is equal to current date if email subject includes automation then display the message box so this task we created in the last two sessions so if you have not watched those videos i would suggest you to please watch those videos then you would be able to understand this session correct so assuming that you have already watched that let's proceed further so what we were doing we were doing the execution of this task by clicking on the run button so what we will be doing in the today's session we will trigger this task right we won't click on run button we will trigger this task and then the task will run automatically so let's see how we can do this in automation anywhere so for that the name of the task is email message uh, email message box so i am inside this email message box let me just confirm the name this is email message box correct so this is i am inside the email message box and in the trigger we need to provide the details so what trigger type do you want to use so click on the drop down and i will select the email message so what action do you want to do that is when new email arrives that means when in my inbox if any new email arrives in that case the trigger will work and this task will be executed right so once i have a new email inside my box it will trigger will run and my task will be executed okay so for that we need to provide some other details also that is the host name that, that will be similar to the host name which i have given in this task so let's provide it again so host name will be imap.gmail.com port number will be 993 and what is this call every minute so this means that since this trigger is checking the inbox whether a new email arrives or not so how frequent it will be checking that is the poll this is the poll and this is in minutes so the minimum time which we can put is 1 minute if you want to uh, wave if, if you want to check your inbox every 1 hour so you need to provide it in minutes that is the 60 minutes right so accordingly you can provide so i want my inbox to be checked every 1 minute so if any email arrives in that 1 minute what to do you need to trigger this task right this is the task which we created now i will provide the username that is my email id and i provided that one and you need to give the password so look guys this is not the traditional password which we give to log in to the email this is the app password which you need to generate this i have already covered in part 2 this is in google account if you are using the gmail here to read the emails you need to enable two step verification and you need to generate app password right because without using this app password you won't be able to do the execution so this we have already covered if you have not watched that video please watch that video and now i will provide my app password so i am providing my app password so i have provided my app password and i checked this box that the server uses ssl connection yes my server uses ssl ssl connection so i will click on save and the task got added right sorry not the task the trigger got added so if i send an email to my inbox and it will check every 1 second and when the new email arrives it will trigger this task right so let me send an email so that it can be triggered so i'm going to create an email a very basic email i will create 
I will give the subject as trigger demo and I will click on send. So I have a new email in my inbox. What it will do, it will check and it will poll for every one minute. So let's wait when my task gets executed. I will not click on this run. This task will be executed automatically. Correct? So let's wait for the task to get executed. So you can see my execution got started. It got the unread message and it pulled after every one minute. So my execution got started and I got the email subject, email time that this is the message box which got displayed and it will run again. So okay. Right. So my execution is successful. I didn't click on run button. It got this task got triggered. We created a trigger to run this task. So in this way you can create a trigger. Now we will learn something else. So what we are doing, we are giving some condition and we are displaying inside the message box. What we can do else is that we can create a subtask also. So let's see what I mean with that. So we have the task as if this condition. So I will create another task, task 2 read email give if condition that is give if display the message okay display the message and after that run the subtask right so i will run the subtask now i will create a subtask and then i will run that the subtask so let's see what is this so for that i will create a new task and in the task, I will give a message box. Let me add a message box over here. This is my message box. And I will write this is a task. I will click on save. And I will click, I will save this task as well. And I will save the task as subtask. Okay. And I will save it. So once I save it with this task, see these two tasks are different as of now. But in this task, I want to call this subtask. So how can I do? So for that, you will move to this task command and you will take this subtask. Okay. And you need to give the task name. So my task name is subtask. I will browse it and I will check for subtask. And I got the subtask. I will open this one and I won't change anything over here. I don't want to repeat. I just want once to come. So I will click on save. So what will happen? So all are similar to the previous task. After displaying the message box, it will go to this subtask that is it will move to here and then it will display the message as subtask again, right? So I will save this one and I will do the execution and let's see how the execution goes and I need to un unread this emails so that uh, Uh, yeah, so I will unread this email as mark as unread and uh, yes, all are in unread status now and what I will do, I will do the execution. I will click on run. You can trigger again, but as of now, I am running this task. So let's see what happens. Automation anywhere. This is the message box from here. Email subject, email time, all got generated. I will click on OK. And this is subtask. This, after displaying this message, what happened? The, it, the execution goes to the subtask. And over here, it displayed the message as this is subtask. Okay, so I will click on OK. And then again, we got another message that uh, another subject and another time I got from another email. So I will click on OK and it did the execution again. It moved to subtask from here. It moved to subtask and it displayed the message. So 
yes my execution is successful as of now we were able to create a trigger for the task we created sub task and we executed that uh, one task from the another task so yes my execution is successful successful and that's all for the session and if you have any queries please put in the comment section below and i will try to solve your queries okay thank you have a nice day